fashion show to increase public awareness of original and authentic Native North American fashion. Boy, do we have some treats for you today. Mm -mm. Here is more on the fashion show is Amber Don Barrow. I want to thank you. Also, one of your designers, Jamie Okuma. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Thank you. So tell me about this fashion show. You mentioned it's the second year, right, that this is going on? Yes, this is the second year of Swaya, also known as Indian Market, has put on an official fashion show. Last year was the first year and I'm really excited about this year's show as well and this really is a performative event. It's more than just fashion, it's more than just native fashion, it really is a form of entertainment and uh, it's going to be a, a great surprise. Okay, why did you get involved in something like this? Um, well, I moved here from Canada about three years ago mm -hmm. and one of my first jobs here was being a contract worker at the Museum of Contemporary Native Arts, which is the Institute of the American, uh, the Institute of American Indian Arts. And one of the first projects I was asked to do was to put on a Native fashion show. And being an art curator, it just really went hand in hand in terms Absolutely. of organizing events and producing these shows. So I really look at myself as curating these fashion shows because it really is you know, an experience. I definitely can see that. What do you hope people take from this fashion show? What do you hope they take away from this? Um, it's not like a typical fashion mm -hmm. show. It has the same, you know, style, the runways, but the dresses and the clothing is different, mm -hmm. right? You know, I just want people to really to walk away with having an, an experience, to enjoying the show, to being uh, aware of the, the native designers and the native fashion that is going on, and public awareness of, you know, kind of just authentic native fashion and art and design and what we have to offer here in Native North America in terms of the artists and the fashion and the designs that we represent all across Canada and the United States. And Jamie, you're really bringing these designs to life, right? Yes. So sir. tell me some of the pieces that you've really uh, been inspired to create. Well, these are all very personal to me. Um, they're digitally printed um, of pieces from my own outfit artwork that I've created in the past, so it's um, just a continuation of my 18 plus year career here. So. Wow, okay, so let's start with the first model. Let's bring her out. There she comes. So tell me, can you I explain to me what exactly this model is wearing here? She's wearing a silk dress and it has a contemporary painted parflesh design that um, I created for Swaya last year. And But this is the first time that you're seeing it on um, a dress. And on the runway, yes, right? Yes. Soon going to be on the runway. Yes. Okay, let's bring out uh, model number two. Come on out. Here she comes. Now, where did you get inspiration for these type of, of dresses? D does it just come to you? It or? does. And, yeah, and you just sketch it out, right? No, this is kind of just something that comes out organically. And, okay. Um, so, yeah, this one here. This is beautiful. Yes, this was the uh, same process, digitally printed from a piece of beadwork that I did. Oh, wow. So, if you can see very close up, it's, there's beads on that dress yeah. and all the accessories are mine as well. Okay, we'll bring out the third model here. And as she's coming out, you're also wearing a piece yes. of what Jamie has designed as well, right? I'm also very fortunate to be wearing a Jamie Okumu as well. Yeah. And I just want to emphasize, Jamie also does the, the, the necklaces and the purses as well. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that handbag. Okay, so tell me about this, Jamie. This one is feathers from my outfit that um, also same printed on silk and she also has a hand fabricated parflet contemporary parflet st uh, style purse and uh, jewelry as well okay so tell me once they hit the runway are they for sale can you purchase them? yes okay yes, everything you see will be for sale um, my booth is located 218 Palace. Okay, 218 Palace, we'll keep that in mind. How many fashion designers are gonna have at this fashion show? Actually, this one we're really lucky, we're gonna have five. We're gonna have Bethany Yellowtail, Shosho Esquiro, Dorothy Grant, and Patricia Michaels. And what's the overall, you know, what's the benefit of this? What do you hope people take away from it and what's the, the fashion show for? Uh, well, the fashion show really is a part of, um, it's a new part of SWIA programming, mm -hmm. and it really is a form of entertainment, but also just to bring awareness, as I said earlier, about the diversity of Native North American art and design. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, it is a form of entertainment. And a, it is, a, yeah. A, it's a free event for SWIA participants. And it really is, I encourage people to get there early because it gets packed really quick. Do you think people that, you know, may have never even known about this type of, you know, style of design, they will get um, interested in it once they go to the fashion show? Absolutely. Open their eyes absolutely. a little bit. Because Swaya has always had the, um, the clothing contest. That's been a very traditional part of Swaya, but this really 
offers an, uh, it really allows the designers a chance to re really creatively, creatively explore mm -hmm. their designs, creatively explore themselves, and not kind of be limited to what people may expect native clothing I can is see about. That. I can see um, that. Because the clothing contest really is more about traditional wear, right. traditional power wear, traditional regalia of the diverse native okay. nations, where this really kind of is an extension of that, which, okay. you know, just allows creative freedom. Absolutely. Real fast, when and where is the fashion show? It's at Cathedral Park, 1 p.m., August 22nd. And I uh, I just wanted to also mention there's going to be a DJ there, Celeste Whirl, as well as Nicota Lawrence, who is a contemporary hoop dancer, okay. will be opening up the show. Okay. Uh, website where they get more details? Uh, the Swaya website, just Google Swaya. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank you, ladies, so much for joining thank us. You. Thank Don't you. Don't miss it. We'll have more information on our website, a recap of this interview there. KRQA.com will be right back. Great. Thank you, ladies. Thank